This weekend I'm going to be taking a six year old racing shoe that I own along to a race to see if it can still hold its own. <laughs> What is up everybody and welcome to 40 Runs. My name's Chris Ford and I'm a running coach who likes to review running shoes here on YouTube. We do a lot of other things as well on this channel, including going along to races and racing. So this weekend I've got a race and I thought to myself, what shoe am I going to wear? It's the end of the year and it's a great time for me to pull out some of those shoes that I've not worn that much this year because obviously we get a lot of shoes on this channel. And I put a poll out and asked you guys, what shoe should I wear this weekend? And I put the Rocket X2 and I put the Vaporfly 3 on there. Now the poll's very close, but the bottom line is you couldn't really decide. It was sort of neck and neck on each way. So I sort of, well, had a brilliant idea. And that brilliant idea was to take these along to the Hatfield Five. So I've got a five mile race, which is very unusual for me. I've never done a five mile race, um, but I'm gonna be going along to Hatfield. It's a local event for me, and we're gonna be doing this five mile race. Now apparently it's very fast and it's very flat. And I thought to myself, why don't we take these along and see how they get on? Now this is the Vaporfly 4%. This is the Flyknit version, which came out in 2018. Now the shoe's got 31 mil of stack. Um, it's got a 10 mil drop. We've got a full length carbon plate and we've got Zoom X in it. It was one of the original carbon plated running shoes that came out from Nike. And it was a bit of a trailblazer. It was a bit of a game changer in terms of sort of racing shoes and people were doing marathons in these and all sorts of things. And over time, we've ended up with these, the Vaporfly 3. And I've recently done a video comparing the two. And it did get me thinking, about whether I could race in these. So that's what we're gonna do, people. We're gonna take these along, uh, which are, you know, completely different to the Vaporfly 3. You know, we've got 40 mil of stack, and as I said, what was it, 36, I think I said? No, 31 mil of stack. We're gonna take these along to a five mile race, and I'm gonna put them on, and we're gonna see how fast we can run in them. Now, I wouldn't say I'm in the best shape. I've just done the New York City Marathon. I've still got a bit of a niggle, but I'm gonna go along and I'm gonna see what this shoe is like in a race. Why not, guys? Why not try it out? And let me know in the comments, have you got an old shoe that you're still racing? So let's see, people. Let's see how these hold up. Uh, I'm gonna go along. We'll probably show some moody B-roll now, some awesome race footage. And then at the end of it, I'm gonna sum it up and let you know how I got on in my six-year-old shoe. Right, that's done, look. Survived. <laughs> you know what though? To be fair, I, well, I pushed. I was running as hard as I could on the day, but did I notice it? It's so hard, right? It's, it is so hard when you're used to running now in these sort of higher stack shoes. It's it's a funny fear, uh, funny feeling, it's a bit weird. Could I have gone any faster in like the Vaporfly 3? No, because I was ruined. Did it make any difference under my feet? Well, yeah, I, I, I did feel, well, they just felt lower to the ground. It was, yeah, it was odd. But to be fair, they didn't feel like bad or slow or anything like that. They were, well, yeah, just as good as any other shoe, I suppose. So look, I don't know whether this video is good or not, but it was interesting to run in a shoe that is six years old versus like a Vaporfly 3, which I could have run in today. I say, I don't think it made any difference in terms of how I ran today. I think it just, again, shows that a lot of it's down to more you know, your physical and your aerobic sort of, well, how you're feeling kind of thing uh, versus the shoes. But the shoes do make a difference, I can't deny that. But I don't ultimately think today being in the Vaporfly 3 would have made any difference to me being in these. And I've got, I've got, to, give them a bit of, got to give them a bit of love because, you know, they, they are, look, they are six years old. The foam would have degraded slightly. And yeah, so, you know, to be able to go out there, push out 30, well, it's only 35 minute, five mile run, uh, on a quick day, 
that it was a bit slippery out there and the grip was still good. So I've got, no, I've got to give them a bit more kudos actually, I think, than probably I'm giving them. So there we go, people. That was it. Five miles in a six-year-old shoe. Uh, whether you enjoyed that, let me know in the comments. Uh, but that's it from me. I'm going to go and get warm because I'm bloody freezing and I'll catch you later.